Okay, so what do we have here? Well, as the title says, it is a logarithmic equation. And specifically, this is a natural log. And basically, logarithms have kind of two flavors to them. So we have ln, that's the natural logarithms. And then we have log, that's the common logarithms. Now, this is log base e, this is log base 10. And of course, we can have log base whatever. And now, if you are listening to this and you're kind of lost, you're like, hmm, I don't even know what you're talking about. They're like logarithms. I don't, you know, this might be a little bit, um, you know, you might not be ready for this particular equation. However, if you're with me, you're like, oh, yep, I'm studying logarithms. And this would be appropriate for someone, let's say, uh, an algebra, in the Algebra 2 course, um, college algebra, Algebra 2 trigonometry, certainly pre-calculus, any of those type of uh, courses, you're definitely going to be studying logarithms. So we're going to get to exactly how to solve this. Not that difficult of a problem. But again, if you're, you know, uh, you know, lost or struggling a little bit, well, I'm going to clear up that confusion here in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And just let me tell you very briefly about my math help program, uh, which you can check out by following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus, everything in between. I also have a ton of test prep courses. So if you're taking an exam and it has math on it, I'm talking something like the GED, SAT, ACT, a teacher certification exam, ASVAB, CLEP exam, AccuPlace or Alex exam, tons of others. If it has math on it, I have I'll probably have the test prep course. And I also have a great homeschool learning program. Then obviously I help those of you that are having a tough time in your current math courses. So I do a, a wide range of things when it comes to mathematics. So again, you can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. One quick tip here, okay, for those of you um, that are math students, if you're not taking stellar notes, okay, you're doing yourself a serious disservice, okay? Um, I've been teaching math for decades. You have to take great math notes. There's just no way you're going to be able to do well in a course, especially like this, okay, this level of math. So improve your notes, and you're going to see all kinds of good stuff happen. But in the meantime, you can use my notes to study from. I'm going to leave uh, links to those in the description of this video as well. All right, so let's get into it. So we're dealing with a logarithmic equation, and we need to just kind of keep something in mind here, okay? So we have logarithms and exponential functions. These are uh, inverses of one another, okay? So when we have a logarithmic equation, I need you to be thinking in terms of uh, exponential equations. Basically, you're gonna take that logarithm, you're gonna rewrite that as an exponential equation, okay? Now, if you have an exponential equation, something like e to the x is equal to seven, guess what? That's when you use logarithms to solve, right? So this is very, very important. So in this particular example, we're, we are uh, dealing with a logarithmic equation. So we're going to rewrite that as an exponential equation and solve, all right? So that's the idea. And again, if you're dealing with an exponential equation, you're going to use a logarithm to solve because these functions are inverses of one another. So I really, really want to kind of stress that because that's what we're going to do right now. All right, so here we go. So we got ln 1 half x is equal to uh, negative 3. So I kind of pre-wrote this uh, work just to make this a little bit smoother. But ln, this is the natural log, okay? So just remember ln means log base e. Okay, now e is the natural the base, it's a 2.718, etc. It's a number, okay? So I want you to kind of think of uh, ln temporarily. We'll just write it this way, log base C. Again, we don't write log base C typically. We'll just write ln. But we're going to write log base C here because remember, when you're looking at a logarithm, you have the log, its base, its answer, and the exponent. So you have the base to the exponent is equal to the answer. I like to call this bacon and eggs, bacon and eggs. When you learn logarithms, B-A-E, okay? So you need to learn how to uh, how we write a logarithm as an exponential equation, okay? That's the whole idea. And again, if you are new to logarithms, then this video might be a little bit beyond where you're at, but this is the main thing you need to do, okay? We have to be able to write this log equation as an exponential equation. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so this is the base, base E, 
the exponent is negative 3, so e, okay, base e, that's a number, to this uh, power, that exponent, negative 3, is equal to this. This is the answer. Again, we're following this bacon uh, exponent, bacon and egg setup right here. Okay, so uh, this is really the key to unlocking the solution to this particular problem. All right, so I have e to the negative 3 power is equal to this right here. This is our answer, 1 half x. So once you have that set up, this is now this becomes kind of basic algebra. So e to the negative third power, again, that's going to be equal to 1 over e uh, cubed. Now, if you don't know that, then you need to review your powers of property of um, powers of um, properties of exponents, excuse me, things like this. This is a to the negative n is equal to 1 over a to the n. So hopefully this is just good old-fashioned algebra review for you, but e to the negative 3 is equal to 1 over e cubed. Now I have 1 half x. I can write that 1 half x is the same thing as x over 2. Okay, so if I have x over 2, that's equal to 1 half x. Now, the reason why I kind of really, uh, you know, highlight that is I have 1 half x here, but I want to think of it as x over 2. So now I have 1 over e cubed is equal to x over 2. I have an awesome little proportion right here. So I can just use the cross product to solve. Okay, 1 times 2 is equal to x times e to the cube uh, power. So here I have x times e to the cube right there. I have 1 times 2, that's 2. So to solve for x, I'm just going to simply divide both sides of the equation by e cubed, and there is the final answer. And uh, if you gave this to your teacher, they would just go ahead and give you an A plus and a 100% and a nice happy face, okay? So if you got this answer right, and this is what you got, then very, very good, okay? However, what you don't want to do is just start going into your calculator and go e uh, cubed and start turning this into a decimal equivalent that's not necessary. Okay, this is what your teacher is looking for. So again, if you got this right, then hey, you're definitely on the right track. Okay, remember the big picture here is when you're dealing with logarithms, okay, logarithmic equations, you need to uh, be thinking that bacon and eggs, I just went over, and you can write that as an exponential equation and then vice versa. Okay, so logarithms, exponential functions, they're hugely important in mathematics. And uh, hopefully this video was a good little quick review on how to solve logarithmic equations. And if that was the case, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over 1,000 plus videos on my channel, uh, Basic to Advanced Mathematics. My goal is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. Okay, yeah, this is complicated stuff, but guess what? You know, uh, we can always break it down in little bite-sized nuggets so we can understand. Okay, that's always my goal is to try to demystify all this abstract, complex stuff. It doesn't have to be that bad. However, you do need to work at learning mathematics every day. Okay, so when you are, you know, in your math class, you got to be taking great math notes and staying uh, focused, you know. If you do that, you're going to do very, very well. All right, but uh, one last uh, note, okay? I do uh, a ton of YouTube videos. I'm posting new stuff all the time, but my best math uh, help will be within my math help program. And this level of math here, you might want to check out like my Algebra 2 college algebra course or maybe even my pre-calculus course. All right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.